Hey guys, my name is Nick. I'm a Microsoft Certified Expert Administrator. I create a lot of content for MSPs. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of the onboarding methods for Microsoft Defender ATP across multiple platforms. So in previous videos here, I've shown you some of the supported platforms across Windows, Android, Mac OS, and Linux. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you some of the onboarding methods available to you so you can better prepare your deployment. So recall that in those videos I mentioned there are these four platforms that are supported today. Android is the only one that's in public preview and iOS support is supposed to come out later this year. So first here we have Windows 10 devices and this includes both Windows 10 Pro and Windows 10 Enterprise. One of the easiest ways to deploy Defender ATP is to already have these devices enrolled into Intune simply a toggle you can turn on which I'll show you here in a minute. You can also deploy the scripts through your RMM tool like ConnectWise Automate. You can push them out through group policy and you could also use a third-party MDM provider like Jamf for instance to be able to deploy this out to those devices and again remember this is not an agent just a configuration setting because Windows 10 already have this built in so it's just a matter of turning it on and pointing it towards your tenant. Within the Microsoft Defender Security Center here, if you do have this turned on, you can simply go into the settings, click on advanced features, and you'll scroll down and you can simply turn on the Intune connection here. In the Endpoint Manager Admin Center here, you can go under Endpoint Security, and you can click on Microsoft Defender ATP, and you can just simply make sure that this is turned on and this service is enabled and click on save here for the syncing to actually occur. So there's no additional configuration if you're looking at just simply enabling this for devices that are already enrolled into Intune. So it is one of the easiest methods in the case of a broad deployment by actually just syncing the services together. As far as the scripts go that you can push out with your RMM tool or with group policy, you can simply come down here to device management and click on onboarding. And in the operating system, you'll click on Windows 10. And from the settings here, you can click on group policy. And this will give you the package that you need to deploy. And you can run it as a scheduled task within your local environment, your domain controller. Or you could take this and you could deploy it with your RMM tool as well. For third-party MDM providers like Jamf, you can come in here and again it's Windows 10, but you'll want to select the mobile device management. And you can download the package here and you could also come into these instructions as well too to see the two package files that you would need in order to deploy this with a third-party MDM solution. Next here we have Windows 7 and 8 and Windows Server. Again, I've done another video on the supported platforms here, but with these two, you're downloading an agent onto the device. In this sense, just for being able to connect and configure the certain settings that connect to your environment. It includes a workspace ID and a key that is used to authenticate the device to your particular tenant and report back. I'll have multiple videos going over that piece as well. But this one's pretty straightforward. You just download this agent and you run the wizard and you configure your workspace ID and workspace key to connect to your particular tenant. Next we have macOS devices. Today two supported methods is with Microsoft Intune or with Jamf. With Microsoft Intune you have to create a app package file which is pre-made today now um, as part of their new deployment and you're going to want to create a configuration profile for an extension, a kernel extension that you'll need to turn on, which is documented and can be done by running a PowerShell script for your particular environment to do actually do both. And with Jamf, it's a PLIST file that you can create based off the package file that you get from within the Defender Security Center and you can configure that that way. Both are well documented and everything today guys in these videos I'll document below with all the supporting documentation from Microsoft that shows you step by step how to go about these methods. 
Next here we have Android, which as of today is in public preview. But the way you do this is again with Microsoft Intune. This is pre-configured if you've enrolled the device. You can push this out a couple of different ways. You can toggle this on within the Defender ATP service. You can also push out Microsoft Defender ATP as an app as part of the Google Play Store as well too. So the, traditionally though, the, the only method you have here today is with Microsoft Intune. Lastly here we have Linux devices as well too. So you can do them manually one by one through the command line of some sort. You could also use third party tools to orchestrate this like Puppet or Ansible. And again, you are given step-by-step -step instructions for each one of these. These Puppet and Ansible ones are actually supported with documentation, but you could also use the other third parties here that you're more familiar with or may use today in your environment to deploy the service to Linux devices. So that's everything I wanna show for you guys in this video. Stay tuned, I'm gonna have some videos targeted for Windows 7, Windows 8 devices on how to set that up as far as a demo goes, Mac OS, as well as a 2016 Windows Server environment I'm using and have set up as a domain controller. So I wanted to walk through, just so you guys can see that firsthand as well too, what the enrollment process looks like. For each one of these, Windows 10 is a little bit easier, obviously, if you have an ARMM tool or using group policy or already have the devices enrolled into Intune. So I didn't want to cover those as much in depth, um, but we'll have future videos here that will show these actual device enrollments. That's everything though for this video, guys. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, please like or subscribe if you guys want to see more content around Microsoft 365 and the MSP space. Thanks guys, have a great day.